Hello. Hello. I apologize about being late. There is stuff. Communication would have been nice. <laughs> what a fun chapter name. <laughs> you being called out. No, I know I'm being- I know that I was late, and I had explained why in Silver's chat. But, pretty much. Stuff. Stuff popped up. So yeah, it's just me today, so enjoy just me. This is Zatu's guild. To inform- uh, to form an exploration team, you need to register your team here. Then you have to train until you become a first-rate exploration team. Yikes. Isn't there something just a little odd about this place? No, I've got shoals with me this time. I have to be brave. Protected, whose footprint? Footprint is Giratina's. What? No, I have to be strong. Be strong for mother. <laughs> Someone's with you. Get the stranger up here now. They probably meant you. They said to stand up here. Because they clearly know the offhand. Because they clearly know that offhand, but not Vaporeon. Speaking about Giratina. There's a gate covering the hole. It's made so that no one can fall through. Still, it's really strange. It looks like it will tickle my feet, or... Hey, you, stranger, get on the grate! Pokemon detected. His footprint. Footprint is, uh... What's the matter, Sentry? Sentry? Sentry Burmy! <laughs> so the Sentry is a bagworm. Which, which Burmy is it? Which Burmy? Oh, trash cloak. <laughs> Trash coat cloak Burmy, however, it's speaking as if it's a, uh, the, the leaf, the grass coat, whatever it's called. Hurrying home from errands, had to book a uh, vaccine, and they only really had time tomorrow. And I had to go to the bank. See you all soon. Have fun, Queen. Good luck. He's, he is trying his best. Maybe Vaporeons, but maybe, but it's not a footprint you normally see around here, and yet you know Giratina. Ugh, that's pretty crummy. Checking the footprints of visiting Pokemon, that's your job, isn't it? Yeah, but I don't know what I don't know. I still love how it changes from the different cloaks. It's so good for the different emotions, quote. What, are they arguing? Sorry to make you wait. Well, it's true you don't see any Vaporeon in these parts. Doubt. But you don't seem to be bad. Okay, good enough. Enter. But you see plenty of Giratina. I'm so nervous and jittery. But I'm glad we're finally allowed in. My heart's pounding, though. Okay, let's go in. How does Giratina fit through that door? He doesn't. There's a hatch that leads underground. Oh my goodness, look at the, the, the teams. I I don't remember offhand who is who, but... We have Anito King and Ledian. We have, I think Team Chasty is a Diglett and Lantern. We have Wobbuffet and... Wobbuffet is something. Wobbuffet and Skiploom, and then there's just a uh, Butterfree. So many Pokemon, I wonder if they're all on exploration teams. Excuse me? Oh my goodness! <laughs> Chatta is a Porygon Z. However, I get to explain this. The, na the, the game randomizes names. However, it also randomizes every iteration of a Pokemon's name. Meaning that Porygon Z will get changed. Yes. 
I'm Porygon Z, the Pokemon that know around these parts. Oh, wait! Is it still Porygon Z? That's weird! In in one of my randomized runs, it changed it to Meditite Z, and I was laughing so hard. I guess it didn't get randomized. Maybe it updated after. Maybe! This was... This was about the same time, so... That, that run and this run were about the same time, before I yeeted my old run. I'm Guildmaster Zatu's right-hand Pokémon. Now shoot, leave the premise. We have no time for salespeople or silly surveys. Off of you, if you please. No, no, it's not why we're here. We want to form an exploration team. That's why we came. We want to be trained as an exploration team. What? An exploration team? Oh my goodness! It has sprites! And it has a really cool sprite! Oh my goodness, this is so good! Look at that exclamation point in the eye! Yeah! It's a question mark eye! I love this so much! This is so good! This would have been such a good partner choice just so I could see all the, the choices, but this is so good. I, I take this. I love this. Yes. It's rare to see a kid like this want to apprentice at the guild, especially given how hard our training is. Yes, this Giratina is, kid. It is a kid. It's only 100 years old as compared to who knows how old any other Giratina is. Surely, the steady stream of Pokémon that run away from our rigorous training proves how true that is. Excuse me? Is the training... Is the exploration team training that severe? What? Well, no. No, no, no. It's not true in the slightest. Our training program for exploration teams is as easy as can be. Well, well, well. I wish you had told me up front that you want to be an exploration team. <laughs> is that super... His attitude suddenly changed, didn't it? Okay, let's get your team signed up. Right this way, follow me. Oh, anything wrong? Come on, over here. Quickly, please. Oh, you guys get to see what see what happens with Zatu. This is the Guildmaster's second underground floor. This is mainly where the apprentices work. Another Burmy? No, it's a Zatu. But yeah, it kind of does what Burmy does, except it's better. Oh, another Burmy is Krogunk! Ha! I didn't notice that! Team Exploration is this way, come along please. It's another Trash Cloak Burmy. We have two Burmies in the guild. Wow, we're two floors under the ground that we can see outside. Oh, please, hush now. The guild is built into the side of a cliff. It's only natural you'd be able to see outside. Oh. Now, we're at the Guildmaster Zatu's chambers. On no account, and I repeat, on no account should you be discourteous to our Guildmaster. Guildmaster, it's Porygon Z, I'm coming in! Guildmaster, I present to you two Pokémon who wish to join as apprentices. Guildmaster? Hiya! I'm Zatu, I'm the Guild's Guildmaster. You want to form an exploration team? Then, let's go for it. First, we must register your exploration team's name. So, tell me your team's team name. Steal Zatu over the treasure tan. Oh, our exploration name? We didn't think of that. Yeah, I didn't think of this either. Huh. I really don't know what to call the exploration team. I mean, technically I can change it any time. So if I don't like it after just randomly naming it, I can just give it a different name. So it's gonna be team something in this game. Hmm. How about this? Team something, good name. Team Randoom, just because. Ran 
random? Team random? Sounds about right. Yes, that's a good name. It suits us. I'll settle then. I'll register you as Team Random. Registering, registering, all registered. Yumta. Congratulations. From now on, you're an official exploration team. I present to you with this commemoration. Zatu set down exploration team kit. Yep. It's what every exploration team needs. Quickly, open it now. There's a badge, wonder map, treasure bag, so now we can hold more than one item. All sorts of great items in here. That's your exploration team badge, it's your official team identification. There's a wonder map, which is a wonder of convenience. Finally, there's a treasure bag that lets you carry items you find in dungeons. Your success as an exploration team can lead to bigger and bigger space for your treasure bag. It's a very wonderful bag. Have a peek inside. Oh, defense scarf. That's not what I was hoping for, but I will happily take it. And a sky blue bow. Those two items are special. I'm sure they will help you on your adventures. Thank you. We'll do our best. Yep, but you're only practicing right now, so do your best to train. We will. Let's do our best, Jules. I'm so sad we haven't seen Zatu do the really funny face yet. This is your room. Great, we get beds! Yes, because if you were going to live in a place, you wouldn't get beds, obviously. You will live here while you work for us. Things will start getting busy for you tomorrow, so rise early and start living up to our code. Don't stay up late, get to sleep early tonight, that is all. We get to see what louder it is. Ah, yes, running in bed. Oh, are you still <laughs> louder? Is loud. Are you still awake? My heart's been racing all, uh, all day today over every little thing. But I'm glad I finally made myself come here. I thought Zatu would be scary, but he seems pretty friendly. We're going to experience all sorts of things starting tomorrow, but I'm not very scared. In fact, it's the other way around. I'm super excited for the adventures we'll face. I'm starting to feel a little sleepy. Let's give it our all tomorrow. Okay, good night. I don't get why it's used different animations to put to the put to sleep in a dungeon animation. Yeah, I don't get why it doesn't use the the sleeping inside of dungeon animations either. That's I think because they have special sleep animations for the starters so it doesn't pull that but i'm really hoping that eventually um the the randomizer slash temple and such will be able to implement that as a feature via a patch or something now i'm su suddenly apprenticing at the guild I've gotta admit it's pretty exciting to be in an exploration team it's fun to be friends with edgeworth but first things first who am i how did I turn into a Pokemon? How did I end up unconscious on that beach? I'm feeling sleepy too. Well, think about these things right now. Uh, won't help right now. I better focus on the guild's work for now. I'll do... If I do that, well, everything should become clear eventually. I'll surely get to the bottom of this in no time. And the thing that's silly is they were able to do that in the first Rescue Team game. But then that hasn't been a thing ever since. In every other Mystery Dungeon game... Other than DX, they have no sleeping animations for any evolutions of the Pokemon. Or any, like, say if you did random Pokemon. It's horrible. Even if you evolve your starter, they still don't put a sleeping animation for whatever friggin' reason. Yeah, we know we can save our progress in bed. Cool. Hey. Hey there. Rise and shine. Ugh. My head is pounding. What a ridiculously bad voice, I almost blasted my eardrums. Oh my god, it's a speed deoxys! Why are you still asleep? Wake up! Ugh. My poor ears. Come on, snap out of it. I'm Krogunk. What? I'm Krogunk and I'm a fellow apprentice. This deoxys goes by Krogunk. 
If you're late for our morning briefing, you'll be sorry, so move it. Guildmaster Zachi has got a big temper, so if you make him lose it... Yowie, that'd be one very scary scene. Got goosebumps just thinking about it, yeesh. So anyway, I'm not about to get in trouble because you rookies got up late, so get it in gear. My ears are still ringing, what did they say? Something about getting ready? Er, uh, oh yeah! We signed up as apprentices at Zatu's Guild, that's right! Okay, I have arrived. Hi, Queen! But that just means... Ah, we totally overslept! We've gotta hurry! You have- you only missed plot. So, the... So we have... Uh... Deoxys... Deoxys Loudred. We have two... Two... Trash Cloak Burmies. Hush. Your voice is ridiculously loud. We have Zatu, who's the guild leader. Uh, guild master. Um, Pachirisu is, um, Doug Trio. I think... Two Burmies, a Lydia, a Slow King, a Needle King, a Shinx, and a Pachirisu. Interesting selection. I think Bidoof is either Ledian or Shinx. I like how not Ledger can't keep still. Yeah, he just keeps jumping in place. Alright, well, let us conduct our morning address. He has so much speed that he has to do something with it. Do you have to lead them all through dungeons? No, they're NPCs. Can, can we see Zachi's face, please? Thank you, Guildmaster. Please address the crew. He sleep. Guildmaster Zatu never ceases to amaze me. Yeah, you got that right. Yep, looks like he's wide awake. Eek, his eyes are wide open, but he's fast asleep. Thank you, sir. We all value your words of wisdom. Okay, Pokemon, take your Guildmaster's words of wisdom to heart. Finally, let's not forget our morning cheers all together now. One, don't shirk work. Two, run away and pay. Three, smiles go for miles. That's the only time I'm saying that. Deoxys slash louder is hilarious. Okay, Pokemon, get to work. <laughs> the, the Shinx... <laughs> the, the Shinx just fainted. Uh, and I like how the Pachirisu and the Burmy just disappear out of existence. So Shinx is... I think Chimeko, and that means Ledian is Bidoof, and that also means that Nido King is Sunfloor. Hey, you shouldn't be wandering around here. You two come here. I just want you to see the emotions. I just want you to see what happens when, uh, when Zatu does the correct emotion, because it's hilarious. I have to start off with this assignment. This is the job bulletin board, Pokemon from various regions post job requests here. You're aware of bad Pokemon are cropping up in greater numbers, right? He screamed. No, he doesn't scream. He, he doesn't, his, the, the icon for Zatu turns rainbow and it's so good because they had placeholder ones yeah they had placeholder images so the same it doesn't turn rainbow but there is ones for um Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres that all have a one two three four on them which possibly meant that they were going to show more emotion in the emotes than they did in the original games, and Zatu was also one of those. Yep, because the flow of time is getting messed up. It's wrecking havoc, right? Which is why lots of bad Pokemon are appearing. The flow of time is getting messed up. Time is in hours and minutes? Do they mean something has gone wrong with time here? Because of that, more and more bad Pokemon are popping up? What's going on? Precisely. Time getting out of whack has caused an outbreak of bad Pokemon, perhaps because of all of that. We have noticed an increase in the number of jobs, and in addition, and it's unknown if this is because of time's influence, there's also been a mass outbreak of mystery dungeons. 
mystery dungeons. So, you know how we got my Relic Fragment back yesterday? The place where we found it was a mystery dungeon. Hey, are they on a giant Torterra? Maybe. A mystery dungeon changes each time you go into it. It's a different layout and different items every time you enter. If you faint in the middle of a dungeon, you lose half of your money. Uh, lose half of your money, and you lose half of your items or more. Finally, you get kicked right out. It's a strange place, but every time you go inside one, there's always new things to discover. It's really a fantastic places to go exploring. Well, you're quite informed, aren't you? That makes things much easier for me to explain. Jobs take place all in mystery dungeons, so let's look for a job you you should perform. Oh yes, maybe this will do. Hello, my name is Suicune! <laughs> oh man, it's a Suicune. And that law has run off with my most prized possession, my precious pearl. I think she's talking about Sharpedo Bluff. That pearl is life itself to me. Jagged teeth, it's Sharpedo Bluff. I can't seem to settle down if that pearl isn't in its proper place atop my head. We're helping a sweet coon. But I have but I've heard this pearl has been sighted. It's said to be in a rocky bluff, but this bluff is reported to be extremely unsafe. If I I could never go somewhere so frightening, oh friendly readers, would you be so kind as to go to the bluff and get my pearl? I beg your help, exploration team members. From Sweet Con. <laughs> Not enough, not enough letters to put the E. Suicune, E. <laughs> Wait a second. We're going to fetch an item that someone dropped, E. <laughs> I'd rather go somewhere that's more of an adventure. I'd rather look for treasure in unknown places, things like that. Hush. It's important you rookies pay your dues. Pay attention now. I'll repeat the warnings again to make sure they stick. You'll be forced out of a dungeon and sent back here if any of you faints. You'll lose half your money, and you could lose half your items or more. You best be careful. If you've understood all that, I suggest you get on with the job. Hmm. And this is really sad because I have items I want to keep. This must be the bluff's entrance. Suikun's mission description said the pearl is deep down on the seventh floor. It should be a serious, dangerous place. Let's be careful. Let's do our best. <laughs> nice wasteland! I hope your drenched bluff isn't full of pear song. D I love this song. I I forget. This is just the dark feature. This the song I think is it's it's in the special uh the fifth one. And I I think this is Dark Ice Mountain. I think this is Dark Ice Mountain. Yeah, this is nice wasteland. Let me just, uh, flex my mystery dungeon knowledge real quick. I have less stats than my, uh, partner, so he can have the... He can beat the wall. Yeah, it's not the song for Dark Wasteland. No, it isn't. I know Dark Wasteland. Uh, let's see. My stats are 23. It is Dark Ice Mountain. Yeah, I love Dark Ice Mountain song. I forgot I'm level 10 already. D? Oh, it's a razor fang. I was really hoping. Sky Melodica. Ooh, rare fossil! Okay, so I think we're saved. Rare fossils do 100 base damage when you throw them. Uh, so the thing is, you tend to find a lot of these in the randomizer from what I've seen. So yes, the randomizer is dangerous, but it also gives you a lot of really broken items. Oh, 
Oh man, it's so hard to try and not hum. I got like three miracle chests. Damn, already? I haven't had any of that luck except for in my first one. Well, Razor Fang got sticky. I thought I disabled traps until Applewoods. Maybe I didn't. Oh well. Oh! Also five goggle specs. That just sounds like selling fodder to me. It's okay, poison in this game isn't that scary. <laughs> it's the most OP mon in Rescue Team. Really? Cast form? I guess because it can set weather and uh, because what's it called is also a ranged move, weather ball. Oh, I didn't want to use leaf storm. Oh well. There's a reason it's size 4 in this game. What? Cast form is size 4? In Pokemon Mystery Dun Oh. Dungeon explores a darkness. Cast form has a body size of 4. Despite it being body size 1 in the first Mystery Dungeon games and having the same in-game sprite as in the second. This may have been changed to balance gameplay. Well. Oh, Rain. And now we're gonna get Wall Rain who spam soft boiled. I hope you guys enjoy spam. I've never used the cast form in Mystery Dungeon. But I can imagine that it's really good because it can change its types. It can learn three weather setting moves. Please fight that. Yeah, please fight the next thing for me too. Oh, there's a Gliscor. I can fight Gliscor. If I can actually hit it, because Hustle sucks. Dude. Hustle sucks. Holy crap. Let me just miss Needle Arm three times in a row. Well, I know that I'm going for uh, that one item that raises your accuracy. Nectar! Oh, how much money do I have? I don't have any money. Ah! Yes, I can drop unusable items, but the thing is I want that red gummy, so I can hoard it. I'm waiting for a certain thing to open up in-game for me to eat all my guys. Nectar is surprisingly cheap. It is! But the thing is, Razor Fang only sells for one. Find and sell random stuff I get. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna hope for, but I haven't really seen anything yet. Yes, I can still eat it. Yeah, I don't even keep Evo items. Yeah, Evo items aren't even worth selling. It sucks. Where the heck are all the items on this floor? Oh, you have Thunderbolt. There's only one more room in this dungeon, and there's literally no items. I'm gonna probably run Special Vaporin because I don't know if 
Hustle means I drop all my accuracy or only accuracy for physical moves. Doesn't matter because your Leafeon disguised as Vaporeon. Well, guess I'm not gonna get the nectar. Also, Thrash sucks. Thrash and Outrage suck in the first two Mystery Dungeon games, by the way. Nocter. Yeah, Thrash uh, pretty much just causes you to attack in random directions. Yeah, I'm just gonna forget about that. Nectar. Nectar would just raise my IQ, which is exactly what the gummy would do. But I would just do the same thing and hoard it. Oh, great. Sandstorm. Oh, that works. Ooh, is this Quicksand Cave? I feel like- no, this is Northern Desert. So, Mix Elixir. Fun. Again, I'm just gonna hold on to that. Oh, Trip Trap. Ooh, Gastrodon. Oh wait! I have grass moves! What am I talking about? One room orb. That is actually nice. How come stuff is automatically unusable? So the randomizer also randomly applies sticky to stuff. And it's kind of dumb. Oh look, I'm fighting an espion. Oh, there goes the espion. TM, TM, taunt? Not really useful, but I can sell that. That means that there's possibly getting hungry. Uh, that's gonna be start getting annoying, honestly. Yeah, there's a couple other ways. Um, we might actually get lucky and find something called a Great Bazaar. Uh, which, you, if you pay... Oh! You can pay like a hundred to have all your items unstickied and they are great. At least you found an apple in the first two dungeons, I know. I know, I was really lucky. Also, I think... Oh. I free... I know what music this is. I played Drenched Bluff so many heckin' times. This is the nightmare music. Ooh, mirror move. Oh, this isn't the nightmare music? Oh yeah, this is uh this is um Star Cave, I think then. Or Fortune Ravine or something. It's one of those. I think it's Deep Star Cave. Or Limestone Cavern. I can't. It, it's one of those. It's one of the special episode ones. I can't remember if Limestone Cavern someplace in Star Cave or uh, f one of the Fortune or Deep Fortune or Vite. I was literally just talking about- Oh! Never mind, it's a secret room! So hidden staircases will also have things like the, the bazaars. 
But this stuff, these deluxe boxes, holy crap. I can't do anything with those right now, and it's going to take a while for me to be able to do anything with them. But... Okay, so this is actually the music for Drenched Bluff. Ooh, give me that stun seed. And a shellos. This is just Drenched Bluff. It's Deep Limestone Cavern. The previous one, huh? Oh, whoops. I, I meant to turn around, not randomly use freaking Leaf Storm. <laughs> Ow! Fight my partner, my partner can tank stuff. Oh, that's a mammoth swine. That is a definitely a mammoth swine. Oh! Mammoth swine has unburden! Okay, crew. You say that, um, Parish Song is BS? I had to deal with freaking, uh, Glalie that had both bad dreams and, uh, and, uh, whatever, Dark Void, and Dark Void. And Dark Void puts the whole room to sleep. At least Glalie can't hit you from anywhere on the floor. Dude, I entered a room with two Glalies and got messed up. Out of here, Knocked Owl. I died at a random pair slung from the other side of the floor. Okay, that is valid. It also does have a very low chance to be to hit, but yeah, I can imagine that there's a ton of Pokemon that would just get it. Uh oh. Ooh, gyro ball. Oh yeah, Ormberry's giving temp HP if below a certain amount isn't a thing yet. No, it isn't. Well, my leaf storm is better. Check it out, Shulz. Thank you for taking him out. I just want Gyro Ball so I can sell it. Alright, what TM does he have? Of course he has Dig. Grumpig Rock! It's instead of Gravel Rock, it's Grumpig Rock, because apparently Gravel Rocks are based off of Graveler. Oh, Larvitar! Oh, okay, Larvitar has... Marvel Scale. Yeah, apparently. Oh, yeah, we're not stepping on that random trap. Grimpig isn't even a rock. Joe Pebbles are Geodude and Gravel Rocks are Graveler. Isn't there a Golem equivalent? No, there isn't. Nice waste. <laughs> nice waste! <laughs> the top of Nice Wasteland is Nice Waste. <laughs> oh, look at that. Okay, I have to say, I'm very surprised I haven't completely wiped in a dungeon yet, because that's happened to me in literally every single other run that I've done of this randomizer. I've just wiped in both the first and second dungeons multiple times. Let's hurry back with it. <laughs> 